Hi, Chris. So today I'd like to discuss with you on how design teams can get started with applying AI solutions for their chip design workflows. We know that AI offers tremendous productivity and PPA benefits, allowing designers to identify solutions in which in many cases where they thought were not possible to do using the traditional design space exploration approach. Uh, essentially, AI can help designers work smarter, but not harder. But at the end of the day, it is not a big green button. So uh, what are the inputs that are required to run a system like Design Space Optimization AI or DSO AI? Hi, Geeta. Um, sure, uh, DSO AI is an AI-driven learning system that can optimize any chip design workflow. It just requires a few inputs. The first one is a working baseline design flow, um, which is your CAD flow, your existing flow, or the synopsis reference methodology. Um, DSO AI will execute and um, eventually tune your flow to produce the best overall results. The second input is the search space. And this is defined by input parameters um, that DSO AI optimizes within a specified range. Uh, this is what designers spend their time tweaking to get the best PPA. Uh, they could be the tool settings, the design constraints, uh, library or process parameters, uh, anything you want the tool to permute on in the search space, which is why we call these parameters permutons. Um, DSO AI will optimize the search space and that frees up time for designers to go focus on real design issues. The third input are target metrics, and these are measurable goals that you want DSO AI to optimize for. They could be standard ones like timing, power, area, congestion, or you can define custom tickle metrics that DSO optimizes directly. The last input is the compute envelope, uh, very important. Uh, you, DSO needs to know what's available in terms of your machines, your cores, your memory, um, basically your compute farm. So uh, that's it for the inputs. Okay, and as output from the learning system, can uh, designers expect anything that they can use for tape out? What else do they get? DSO AI optimizes uh, the design search space and it tunes the workflow uh, to provide the user with the best point tool results. Um, the output of the workflow is the, what's generated by your underlying implementation tools. Um, Design Compiler, Fusion Compiler, Primetime, and Star. Um, you also get analytics in the form of graphs and dashboards, uh, reports that can help the designer uh, look at the impact of the parameters on their design. And because DSO AI is a learning system, it captures statistical learnings uh, in a training database that you use for future sessions. Okay, that's great. So it looks like getting started with DSO AI is pretty straightforward. Uh, tell us what type of designs uh, should use DSO and when in the design process uh, should they get started? Are there restrictions on design styles, maybe a specific type of process node that we support? No restrictions. Uh, DSO AI though is typically used on the more challenging designs. It doesn't matter the design style or the process node. Um, you just want to use it on the blocks that you're spending time tuning today. Uh, we highly recommend that you use DSO AI throughout your design process and as early as possible. Um, this allows you to have the ultimate freedom to explore the input parameter choices uh, and not get trapped in local minima. Um, and then through the iterative learning, DSO AI can refine the design and achieve the best possible results. Um, and this allows you to manage your compute resources more efficiently because as you go through the iterative learning, you can do incremental refinements uh, after your initial optimization. And this allows you to scale back your compute resources. Oh, great. So uh, we are talking about an AI based system. So I have to ask this question. Uh, are there any prerequisites for designers to uh, knowing or understanding AI ML concepts or new programming languages? Uh, in other words, is there a learning curve before using an AI based learning system? Uh, you have to pass a test in Python. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but it's a new tool, so there's going to be a learning curve. Uh, you don't have to pass a test, but it's a tickle-based shell interface, just like the other implementation products. 
Um, you don't need to understand AI or machine learning concepts or learn a new language. Uh, a basic understanding of statistics to look at your results and um, knowing that machine learning uses big data, that's useful knowledge. Great. So it looks like as long as they are uh, implementation designers who are using the Fusion Design platform today, they should be able to get started with DSO AI. Uh, thank you so much, Chris. For more information, join us at synopsis.com slash AI or the upcoming snap. Thank you.